I grew up in an uh, Islamic uh, Muslim family, and uh, I remember when I was in high school, I went a lot to mosque. And uh, in the mosque, uh, I ask a lot of questions about who is God is. I, I really like to, I, I did like to be close to God. And um, I went uh, with some of friends there, and we had a small room uh, in the mosque. And we, can, we could stay and pray, talk, and uh, worship. Uh, but always I, had, uh, I was not happy, uh, because um, I didn't know how, uh, when I am doing something, uh, I, can I please God? And always I, I thought I, I do something wrong, and uh, maybe he, he is not pleased. Uh, for example, when my father died in 12th grade when I was, um, for a long time I cried, what did I do wrong that my father died? And I was looking, maybe because I don't do very good for God, he punished me for that. I start to uh, think about Islam more, to find the reality of it. Uh, but every day um, I pray a lot more and more to um, get um, closer to God. And, but I, I, I was not happy. I was sitting in mall for learning English with the, the dictionary. And a lady came to me and um, say hi and um, we talked, um, hi and how are you? Then uh, she asked me, are you reading Bible? I didn't know what this Bible means. Um, I said, no, this is dictionary. And uh, she sat um, beside me and we start talking. You know, I didn't know a lot of English. And sh we um, used some words and some international words and talking and showing hand and with hand, with lips, with face. Then she started asking me a stupid question. And she said, oh, do you know Jesus? I said, I don't know him. And then she explained to me, Jesus is the prophet of my eyes. She said, Jesus, do you know Jesus is this, this, this? I said, oh, you are talking about Esau. Because I, we don't call him Jesus. It's the first time I heard his name, Jesus. And uh, then when we talked together, and at the same time her family came there. Uh, his son, her son, her daughter, her husband. And they came around me and they talked with me. And uh, we had a good time. Then they asked me to give them my telephone number, and I get their telephone number. Then they asked me to go to their home. I said, okay, for sure. I went to their home. And when I went to their home, they were very nice, very good. They didn't ask me what religion I have, who I am, where I am from. Just, just they were very nice. and. Uh, uh, they asked, um, I, I asked them, today come to my house? And they came. And we had um, started going and coming, and their children, they came to my house, and I went to their home. And it was something different between them and others. I, I could see, for example, the first time I see they are holding hand and pray. And I saw they pray for me. And it was really sweet of them. It was so sweet, and I enjoyed that. I saw them when they are going out, sometimes mm, the mother pray for their uh, younger one and for their children. I saw husband and wife pray. And that is, was not, they didn't know. I, I check all these things. So I say, what they are doing? And it was so amazing for me. No, they are not like other people. They are doing what they say. And um, I went to their home one day and I asked them, what is different between you and other people? And they say, we are Christian. I say, so I am Muslim. Mm, what is make different between me and you? Uh, just because you are Christian? Okay, I am Muslim, I am good. They say, no, mm, we are not good. The one uh, in us is good. And I didn't understand them. I said, please tell me what, what you mean. And they told me, uh, it's not religion. To is be rules and law, is uh, all love for Christ because He did something good for us. We want to be follow Him. We have a leader named Jesus Christ. We follow Him. We do what He did, not because what He said or what He wrote, but what He did. And because of that, we want to be closer to Him. And um, I, I told them I want to m hear more. 
and may you please um, tell me more about it. And the lady um, uh, told me, I said, do you want to really know about it? I said, yes, I want to know about it. She said, okay, one minute. And she went up the stairs and come back with a book in her hand. And the book was Bible. And she gave to me and said, because you asked, I gave to you. But I want to tell you that first night when I saw you and we, we talked together, I pray one day you ask me about this book and I did order this book to come. It's a long time in my room and I pray every day to you one day ask. And it was, I stopped crying because I saw how much she loved me as a person to be care about me. I read the book. It was so hard. I want to tell you, as a Muslim, I couldn't accept Christ can be God. That is the hardest thing. Everything I read in the New Testament, it was beautiful. Every teaching, it was good. But I couldn't accept Jesus Christ when he said, I am God. When I read the, um, the book of John, I throw the Bible on the wall. I kick the Bible. I just get in mad. I say, look, you say all these good things. Why you say you God? They just say I am, a, I am Jesus. And I, you don't need to call yourself God. And um, I, I, I had a lot of problem with it. And um, every time I asked them, they said, look, he, 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 let him he show himself to you. And I said, oh, oh, now he wants to be dead. He, how he can sh show himself to me? I, I, I was very angry of this thing. They, they didn't tell me what is it. They said, read the book. And I read the book and read the book and read the book. Everything good, but that I couldn't accept his God. And we went to a um, camp uh, meeting. The preacher, when, when she, he started to speak, I, I thought he looked at me. And he was just point on me, and because everything he was talking, it was my life. And uh, I thought mm, my friend told him about my life, and I was mad if I could find him, I beat him up because he was talking about the uh, the son left his family and left mm, all, all the way, from, and what happened to him, and he get uh, the prodigal son, and um, I was really thought it, he's talking about me and uh, I start crying because I, I could see myself but when he started telling me telling me because I thought he's talking with me um, uh, that uh, the father was outside waiting for him it was a story the son gone and did all things bad and once come back home he escaped Maybe his father doesn't accept him, but his father didn't ask anything and hug him and accept him. And uh, then he asked if somebody um, wants to go to the father and um, be in his home, confront. I was the first person to run to the front and sit and kneel down and start crying. And I remember I cannot stop because the joy every time I talk, that thing is coming to my heart because when I sit there uh, I, I just want to be with God I want to be my father and I want to Jesus hold me in his arm and he came and prayed for me I tell you I don't know who, everybody of us maybe have different experience but that thing I think most of us when we accept Christ is saying it was the most joyful time in my life. It was like a fire coming from my head to my body. And take away all the things I thought is not true. Because I, I feel I know He's God. In the same times I know He's with me. And I didn't have any experience of that. But I tell you, if that times all met, all the world that told me, Jesus is not exist. I was believe he exists because I could see him in my life. I could see him in my heart, and the joy came to me. It's just it's like uh, connect me with God. It just I I see him. I I found him. It's just all my life was waiting. It just came true. I read um, New Testament ten times before I accept Christ, but when I accept Christ, I could understand it more.
And I arrived the first time after I um, accept Christ. I was reading Ephesians. And I arrived to that thing, He chose you before the foundation of the world. I thought about it and read it and suddenly I jumped and running around the house of joy. Because I just that time I understand. He hold me in uh, his hand and take me step by step. He brought me to mall and same times he was working to other lady to she come that day and that night to mall to we met and I know him. That is powerful. I said he chose me before the foundation of the world and that scripture is true. I just, I tell you, I was running around the house and I didn't know what I can do because I knew that is a living word and is meaning a lot for me, that scripture. Christ for me is everything. I, I don't know how I can live without Him. And He's, he's real. It's not something you can t I tell them, Christ, Jesus Christ is real. It's not a story. It's not because when you are getting with Him, you can feel Him every day, every step. I tell you, if all the words say, this is not God, I don't care. He is God.